Hello all, in this video we will see how to program 89S52IC bare bones method where we place the IC on breadboard and uh, use this type of USB ASB programmer to program the 89S52IC. 89S52IC is uh, uh, known IC in 8051 family. This type of USB ASB imported uh, programmer can also be used. In this video we will be using the both types of uh, USB ASP both type of connections let us see uh, a crystal 11.0592 is required and two 22 pf disk capacitors a reset switch point one disk LED and some jumper wires are required place the IC 89s52 IC on breadboard uh, pin 40 of the IC is uh, VCC which should be connected to 5 volt and pin 20 is uh, ground no separate power source is required we can source the power from the usb asp itself a crystal the 11.0592 crystal is placed between pins 18 and 19 for stability of uh, oscillation we will be using two disk capacitors uh, mostly 22 pf disk capacitors are used between uh, each pin and ground this for uh, stability of the frequency uh, oscillation. The ICSP connections are at uh, uh, pin 6 MOSI, pin 7 MISO, pin 8 SCK and uh, pin 9 RST. Yes, no auto uh, power on reset is uh, there in this uh, 89S52. We will be connecting this RST pin 9. We will pull down this pin to ground through 10k resistor a point on disk is provided between rst pin and uh, 5 volt vcc and a reset switch is provided across this point on disk this uh, reset circuitry is very important uh, and a point on disk and 10k resistance are used the pin number 31 should be connected to vcc this is a very important connection as we are using internal flash memory this pin should be pulled high now let us do the physical wiring uh, the notch at the 89s52 ic is the pin number one and pin 40 is vcc which should be connected to the positive rail of the breadboard pin 20 is ground and it is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard The crystal 11.0592 is connected between pins 18 and 19. Place the crystal between pins 18 and 19. And from each pin of the crystal, a 22 pf disk capacitor is connected to ground. This is for stability of the oscillation. The lower rail is connected to ground pin using a jumper wire now next is the uh, reset pin connections RST connection at uh, pin 9 of IC 10k resistor is uh, used to pull down pin 9 that is uh, between RST and ground a 10k resistor is used A 0.1 disk capacitor is placed between RST pin and uh, 5 volt. This type of reset switch is used. Uh, when you press this reset switch, a connection is uh, uh, at the across the switch. So across this uh, reset switch, we will be using 0.1 disk capacitor. Place the reset switch on breadboard and then across this switch, place the 0.1 disk capacitor one end of point on disk capacitor goes to the positive rail that is vcc 5 volt the other end of the point on disk capacitor is connected to pin 9 rst of uh, uh, 89s52 
this is the reset circuitry the values should be perfect the 0.1 disk and the 10k resistor now let us see the icsp connections from uh, usb to asp first connect the vcc and the ground vcc of uh, usb to asp is connected to uh, positive rail of the breadboard and the ground is connected to the ground rail of breadboard no separate power source is required we will be sourcing power from the usb asp itself now the icsp connections in circuit serial programming connections is one to one connection pin 6 mosi goes to mosi of uh, 89s52 that is pin 6 of 89s52 is mosi that goes to mosi of uh, usb asp pin 7 of 89s52 is miso that goes to miso of uh, usb asp pin 8 of uh, 89s52 is sck which goes to sck of uh, usb asp pin 9 is RST which is connected to RST of USB ASP so the connections are one to one provide an LED at uh, pin P1.2 through a resistor We'll be blinking this uh, LED at uh, pin 1.2, port 1.2. Connect the USB of PC to USB ASP. The LED connected at P1.2 will glow as all port pins are uh, uh, outputs and it is uh, pulled high. But at port uh, P0, Input uh, resistance, pull-up resistance are not provided inside IC. So while using port 0, always use external pull-up resistors. Only at port P0. Other ports have internal pull-ups. While using this uh, imported uh, USB ASP, connections should be done like this. MOSA, RST, SCK, M. Uh, MO, MISO, VCC and ground. We can use uh, male to male jumper wires for this. After connecting USB ASP to PC, open the device manager to verify that uh, the drivers are installed so that USB ASP will be using Kale software to develop the hex file. Open Kale software and uh, feed in this C code. We define uh, the pin uh, P, P1.2 as LED using S bit and then uh, the delay subroutine is uh, defined which is used for uh, delay on blinking LED and inside the void main the never ending loop starts inside which we make the LED pin low and after a delay we make the LED pin high. Now click on build so that the hex file is uh, generated. We will be using Prog ISP software to upload this hex file onto 8051 IC. No installation is required for this Prog ISP software. Just download and unzip it to use it. Open Prog ISP software. Select the ICS 89S52 and load flash. Click on load flash and browse to the location where the hex file is generated. Generally it is under objects folder where you created the project. Uh, put a tick mark against program flash and uh, verify flash and then click on auto button you can see the progressive green bar at the bottom uh, showing the progress of uh, uploading hex file onto 89s52 ic once you see ready uh, you can see the result on usb asp while uploading code the red led will glow and once uploading is over, the red LED will uh, go off and uh, blinking uh, will start. But now the code is uploaded but uh, LED is not blinking. Let us check the connection again. We have missed out the connection at uh, pin 31. Pin 31 must be connected to VCC that is 5 volt. 
as we are using internal flash memory this pin 31 must be connected to vcc if it is uh, left uh, open or connected to ground the ic will look out for the external memory so this connection is very important as we are using flash memory internal flash memory pin 31 must be connected to pin 5 volt that is 5 vcc now click on upload for auto again from pro gsp uh, you can see the code being uploaded once the uh, code is uploaded you can see the led blinking at uh, pin p1.2 port pin p1.2 so the connection at pin 31 to vcc is very important which enables internal flash memory now let us see the importance of the point one disk at the across the reset switch in some circuits they use uh, 10 microfarad electrolytic capac capacitor now let us try 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor instead of point one and see what happens remove the point one disk across the reset switch and place 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor this is a polarized capacitor positive should be connected to vcc and uh, ground should go to rst pin now from prog isp click on uh, auto button to upload code you will get uh, chip enable error so while 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor is used across rst we get uh, this chip enable error now remove the 10 microfarad capacitor electrolytic capacitor and replace it with the point one disk capacitor and try uploading code from proga sp again click on auto now you can see the green progressive bar and uh, the code is being uploaded successfully now the led at p1.2 blinks so across rst pin the capacitor must be always 0.1 disk capacitor thank you for watching